Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series with me, Seawaddy, here in Farming Simulator 19. It's the start of another day, and um, I'm trying to find my tractor. Has anyone seen a case magnum anywhere around here? <laughs> it seems to have disappeared. I need it. Because today's harvest day, kids. We've got a lot of harvesting to do. And, um, yeah, where where the heck is my tractor? I need the case magnum so I can do me um, um, auger wagoning. Where is it? Oh, it's parked there. By the chickens. Okay. I must have sold the eggs. I must have sold me eggs. That's why. Probably just pushed the pallets out of the pallet area into the uh, chicken cell point just to get rid of the boxes right so let's have a look field 15 is ready for harvesting which is a wheat field so we're going to do that one first because the harvesters already popped down there from having done field 16 a few days ago and then we've got the lovely task of having to go all the way to the store because the combine harvester is going to need a corn and sunflower header do the next part of the harvest which is big field 21 plus my corn fields on the right here um, and then we've also got some soybeans but rather than do the soybeans after the wheat harvest because they require the same header I'm not going to be logical I'm going to go change headers and do a completely different harvest <laughs> anyway I mean it doesn't make much sense does it to stick to do all the crops I can with the tool I have first before I go off and buy a another tool that would be far too efficient and logical instead I'm going to um, go and grab the corn and sunflower header right well the uh, sugar beets haven't grown yet the oilseed radish is growing nicely. Like I say, we'll get field 15 treated exactly the same and then we'll cultivate all these four fields at the same time, basically. So after the sugar beets have grown even, is when I'll need to do my um, next, uh, next bit of cultivating subsoiling down here. Now, hopefully this won't take me very long at all to do. In fact, I'm kind of hoping I'll be done in about a couple of passes because this is a tiny little field. A couple of trees make it a bit awkward. not worrying about GPS at all on this field I'm just trying to harvest this as field as fast as I can so that I can then go and get on with the um, I'm gonna do the sunflower harvest first because that's a massive massive field and take advantage of the fact that I've got a lot of the day ahead of me because I assume it's probably gonna take me a lot of the day to do that field by myself Good thing is I seem to be able to get up and down the field without danger of getting full so that makes it okay I'm probably not gonna have that luxury on the um, sunflower field because that field is massive hopefully get enough sunflowers off it that I can sell some Keep some and sell some. I 
mean, to be fair, we haven't really sold a lot of crop thus far in this series. Most of the crops that I've been harvesting have just been going into the silo for safekeeping. A lot of the stuff I've sold has been products that I've made. Eggs, wool, horses, <laughs> you know, fertilizer, compost. I've sometimes sold some of the crops from the, um, the contracts I've done. Nearly getting full. Nearly getting full. Dive down here, pick this up. Now, I don't know if anyone's actually noticed or not at this point, but again, this is another one of those videos where I'm recording this commentary in post, in the edit, long after I recorded the video. If you actually look at the time of the video when I actually recorded this, I recorded this quite late the other evening in real life. And the reason for that was I had a... I'd done a live stream in the afternoon like I tend to normally do um, these days. I streamed something on Twitch in the afternoon. I then took a little bit of a, a break just before, prior to having my dinner and everything. And um, whilst I was waiting for my dinner, I had a bit of a, a, bit of a nap. <laughs> I went for a little bit of a snooze, a little bit of a sleep, and it completely and utterly wrecked me. Does anybody else ever have this issue where you, you think to yourself, oh, I'm a little bit tired, I'll just go and have a I'll just go and have a quick power nap, 30 minutes or so. And you actually end up more tired after having slept. So I ended up having me dinner, and then I ended up going back to sleep. Because so I was like, oh, I need another nap now to recover from the nap I've just had. And um I ended up sleeping for about four hours. <laughs> Woke up. Woke up nearly 11 p.m. in the evening and was like, okay, what am I going to do now then? Because now I'm wide awake. So that at that point, I was like, you know what? I'll load up Farm Sim. Um, I'll load up Lakeland Vale. And I'll just record some videos. I won't bother doing commentary, so it's not to just just disturb the other people in the house and I'll put the commentary on the video the following day when I'm doing the edit in Vegas <laughs> so yeah I ended up recording this video and I think the next one late in the evening and I did it without commentary I think that's another reason why I was able to get this harvest done so fast because I was just super concentrated on the harvest you know, I wasn't making any mistakes or any slip ups because I was distracted because I was talking. I was like super focused on just getting this field done. I mean, it's not ideal from a video producing standpoint to have to record the commentary after you've recorded the video because it means that, you know, you have to spend another 30 to 40 minutes recording the, the audio, recording the commentary, which obviously adds to your production time. But as, I, as I'm sat here recording this at 11.52 in the morning, there's not really a lot else I can do at this point. <laughs> it's too early for me to jump on to stream, or it's certainly too early for me to jump on the multiplayer server because it will be due to restart at 12 o'clock at midday. So I don't want to be logged in the server and it restart on me. Um, I could stream, obviously, other games. Um, start my afternoon stream a bit earlier. But I might as well get the rec the commentary recorded for these two videos. This video and the next one. And then I can save... I can save me, um... Progress. <laughs> in Vegas. And then later this evening in real life. Because what I tend to do with my videos, I tend to render them at night when I'm not using the computer. 
So I'll probably open up Vegas this evening and then I'll render this video and the next one. Batch render them at the same time. notice I'm not doing straw I decided I didn't want to do straw on this field I've got enough straw bales at the minute got enough straw bales no, I don't need to um, contend with those as well yeah quite a bit of harvesting to come like i say we've got this field field 21 and then fields one through four so we've got two fields of corn two fields of soybeans we've got the sunflower field to do um we've got the sugar beet field down at the end there that's going to take its time growing and that Hopefully out of all of that I can get some thing that I some products that I can some crops that I can sell um, or do something with. Make enough money that I can maybe buy some of the fields that I'm currently leasing. So I can get rid of that leasing cost that I'm paying out. I pro I really need to have a real good push through on the um steamed and washed potatoes I need to get some more steamed potatoes and get them really get them pushed pushed out I've got probably two rows left on this field after I've emptied this guy should be able to get it all in the org cart as well which is great I'm not going to need to bring the truck down here oh. Rook's rock the tractor's rocking again I don't know why the tractor starts rocking whenever you start filling up a trailer or auger wagon behind it. Oh, well, no, to be fair, I do know why it starts rocking. It's because Giants fiddled with the physics of the game in one of their last updates. The one which has met completely messed up trailers because now they're so flipping difficult to pull. And we had this issue the other evening on the multiplayer server on Lakeland when we was doing our potato contract thing. Trying to move a trailer filled with potatoes. Our trucks just, you know, weren't strong enough. I ended up having to edit the trucks to give them more horsepower to be able to pull the trailers. Literally couldn't do more than about 10 kilometers an hour when their trailers were full. And it was just taking forever then to sell them on a 4X map. But there we go, final row, final bit of um, harvesting being done. Get the equipment back to the farm, get the auger wagon emptied, ready to start on the next field, which as I say will be the sunflower field, we're going to tackle that one first as it's the biggest. 
exactly what challenges it presents. There we go. Field 15 wheat harvest is completed. A full, full nearly a full auger wagon. What I'll do is I'll use follow me now to get both the tractor and the harvester back to the farm. Makes sense. Just hoping I can empty the orgle wagon into the silo without having to put it into a trailer. I'm hoping I can fit the orgle wagon <laughs> through the um through the silo. me is engaged right let's go hold the pipe in so i don't end up knocking it off on some trees or anything on the way back down a bit let the uh, combine try and catch up <laughs> combine's not the quickest of um, vehicles come on combine where are you here it comes and he'll well he'll have plenty of chance to catch up now because i'm on the hill and i can't go very fast up hill with an auger wagon full of wheat on the back of the tractor really hope giants ahead of their next dlc releasing in june i hope they, if they do a game patch they um rethink the changes they're making they've made to the physics of trailers and stuff because it's just flipping annoying you know there's other things in this game that needed to be fixed that was not one of them no if people want to mess with the weights and stuff of vehicles and trailers and stuff like that there was a mod for that the mass fill type adjustment mod which is on the mod hub which gives all the crops more weight so trailers suffer more when you fill them up and that was a thing that was optional players that wanted to use it could players that obviously didn't want it didn't need it <laughs> didn't have to use it didn't download it but once giants start forcing players to have to deal with it because they've actually put it into the game that becomes a bit of a problem and like i say on 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 our multiplayer server you just can't pull the trailers when they're full all right we'll drop the header off because as i say we've got to go up to the store and we've got to get a new one. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get this unloaded then. It's going to be a tight squeeze. But I think Stevie did make the 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 tip point the cell um the unloading area on his silos wider in his updates to the map. I sh 
should be able to get my um, Volga wagon in here and I can. Any wider, and I'd be struggling. Any wider on the auger wagon, that is. But hey, it unloads. Just saves me having to get the truck first time. I'm obviously I'm going to need the truck for doing the um, the sunflower harvest. And I'll probably need the truck for doing the corn harvest as well. But let's go up to the store. Grab ourselves a header, a suitable header, for doing our next crop. Good thing is I can afford it. <laughs> I can afford a header. A couple of days ago we couldn't. Jeeb's Mill. I don't know if it's really sold a lot there. Even though it's the closest sell point to the farm, I've not sold massive amounts of stuff there. The US Mill tends to be the place that gets all of the um, attention. I don't know why that is, whether Stevie set it up like that in the map to make the US Mill just be a little bit more favourable with its prices. To buy some fuel while I'm here. I could have filled up at the farm, but I figured I was coming up to the store anyway. Might as well save the farm fuel for other vehicles. Come and buy a little bit. I've still, at some point in time, I've got to get myself a tanker. I've got to get myself a tanker so I can go and actually get the fuel. I've got up in the um, um, factory. We'll probably have this header, I think. Just going to swap the colours around on it a bit, though. That's better. Purchased. All right, let's go do some sunflower harvesting. Probably shouldn't really unfold the header in the road, but you know what? Means I can start harvesting much quicker. Set up my GPS course. Uh, 0 to 180 is going to be the course that I need. This field's a bit tight. Both sides of the field are very tight to the tree line. It's something I'm probably going to change after I've done the harvest. I'm probably going to um, just put a new edge on each side of the field. Just narrow the field in a little bit so I've actually got a bit more room down the edges. And I'm, 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 I'm away from the trees with other equipment. Things like my sprayers and that could get caught on the trees and be cedars. I mean, if people are worried about me losing yield, I can always then make the field a little bit longer. I've got room at the top to extend the field a little bit. I've got room at the bottom to extend the field a little bit. However, for the combine harvester that I'm using, I wouldn't really want to make the field longer because it gets full. <laughs> going down one row it tends to get quite full and then that makes it a bit harder for me to unload it
let's head back up the field so yeah this is going to take me quite a lot of the day to get harvested Sixty percent full or sixty five percent full from that audio beep. thing is it's not raining <laughs> well it's cloudy today the weather forecast but at least it's not raining and i'm not going to get to the top of the field before i need to empty so i'm gonna have to pull out of the crop and do a bit of a, a reverse maneuver let the um org wagon come and unload me His engine was still running. Auger pipe was close to that telegraph pole then. First load going into the auger wagon. Perfect. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to do a headland. Top and bottom of the field, I think. See if that gives me just enough room that I can actually go up and down and not get full until I've actually done up and down. Because that would make my life a lot easier, especially for emptying the harvester, if I can actually get all the way up and down two rows before needing to empty. So if I take a, a harvester's width out of the bottom top of the field, take a, a header's width out of the bottom of the field, I wonder if that'll be enough. <laughs> I wonder if that'll be enough room. Whilst I'm down at this end of the field, I might as well go and do this edge. Should have enough room then that I can actually unload the harvester down at the bottom. Look at that troll. <laughs> Can't quite harvest the entire row. Oh. Leaving a little bit of an edge. And see, this is why I need to shrink the field a little bit. 
Well, I need to shrink the field a little bit. It's not quite playing ball. But, oh. Also, if I shrink the field, that great big hill in front of me that you can see, I won't have to drive over that. <laughs> you know, this, that great big mound that I'm now approaching. I could actually avoid having to work and harvest and stuff on that, which would be very nice. Yeah, we've ended up missing an entire row, look. One single row of plants. I'm not going to go back and harvest those. <laughs> All you yield fanatics will be screaming at me, but no, I'm not going to harvest that. That's just going to get painted over with the terrain tool. I hope I can get to the end of the field. Or I need to empty. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to get the machine in here. Oh. I'll tell you what, it's going to be tight. <laughs> it's going to be tight getting in here with the old wagon. Let's go do it. Hold the pipe in this time, actually, because we're going to be unloading the harvester from the wrong side. But unfortunately, we're getting to that stage where we're almost at the end of this episode. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it so far. <laughs> if you have, please make sure you go ahead and click that like button for me. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It's 100% free here on YouTube to click that subscribe button. Um, leave your comments, questions, suggestions and feedback in the comment section down below. Uh, share the video with whoever you see fit, wherever you see fit. Let's try and get a few, a few more views on each of these videos. Um... And I'll be back very, very soon with obviously the next video in the series where we will be doing more of our harvest, our year two harvest, autumn harvest, should I say. Um, and then we'll be get cracking on with getting the fields reprepped and prepared for the um, third year here on Lakeland Vale. So thank you for watching, everybody. And thank you again to Stevie for the wonderful Lakeland Vale map. And uh, I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye for now.